YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to a historical battle from Total War Room 2. It is the Battle of Raffia, or Raffia, depending on where you're from and how you pronounce it, and it is between Egypt and the Seleucid Empire. Now in this historical battle, you play as Egypt, who historically won the battle. Um, and the big talking point about this battle basically was the war elephants on either side. Now, um, the Seleucid Empire, they used uh, Indian war elephants and basically what that meant was that they were a bigger breed, they were more dangerous and the regular African elephants were inferior to them and they basically they basically just couldn't cut it with them. So that's the main talking point. I did skip the intro just then. Um, and as you can see, I've deployed my troops going to either flank. So I'm taking my cavalry to the right flank. I'm taking my cavalry to the left flank. I'm just grouping up my my peltasts and my archer units at the moment. And I'm bringing them into the centre, forming a nice line. I'm going to reinforce them with my Galatian swordsmen, my axemen, my warriors, use some of their special abilities, put them in phalanx, make sure they're in a good formation, group them together to make it easier to micromanage. And as you can see, if you look at the Seleucid Empire at the moment, they're starting to take the big, some of the units are marching towards my cavalry, particularly on my left flank and their right flank. You can see their elephants are there as well, sticking out like a sore thumb at the moment. I take advantage of this, I decide to use my three cavalry units that are on the left flank and charge straight down for the elephants. My missile troops, put them on quick reload because they're about to start firing. Use my troops to attack the Indian war elephants now on the right flank as well. And I have my scythe chariots, which I use to good effect here. I go straight for the, uh, the missile troops in the centre, try to weaken them. Uh, I will say, out of all the historical battles that are out so far, there's only four of them at the moment, which I think is a bit disappointing. And I do hope we do see future historical battles, but out of the four which are currently available, I'd probably rate this one as one of the easier ones. Certainly Carthage and Tudorburg Forest are uh, harder than this one. Um, probably the only one that's easier than this is the Battle of the River Nile between Egypt and Rome. But yeah, this didn't really prove too, too much of a challenge. And I'm starting to attack the Seleucid Empire now from the centre. I'm starting to bring my warriors forward. Lost my left, most of my left flank. Throwing my cavalry in like that. Right flank's holding near enough at the moment. But we got a strong centre. That's why I formed like I have. Give myself some flexibility on the wings by also keeping a uh, solid centre. Start bringing some of the infantry back. I'm starting to tilt them left and right as well. I'm doing that for a simple reason. I don't want my uh, my flanks to be well, to be outflanked I should say. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's why I'm doing that. Start to bring the pikemen forward now. Good opportunity to take out their pikemen. The right flank's done really well for me, taking the elephants out of the game, taking them all the way up into the far distance away from the battlefield. Yes, Commander. At the moment, it's pretty even. If you look at the balance of power in the bottom left corner, 50% yellow, 50% red. I'm bringing now my my uh, skirmishers, skirmishers forward. I kept them on skirmish mode because if they do get charged, they can run back, reform. Their elephants have gone wild. Their Indian armoured elephants only got two of them left. So they've done a very good job. Got one elephant, two units sitting on top of it, I imagine. And this is where I want it now. Bringing all their troops into the centre, squashing them in. And I can just use my pikemen now and pike them to death. <laughs> That's even a word. Pike them to death. <laughs> but yeah, and I've, I've got my skirmishers as well. Uh, hitting them on the wing. My camels I'm able to charge in with now. 
from the right flank. Taking the elephant and the cavalry from that flank out of the game. I've taken the elephants out in this left flank, so they haven't been able to use them. Because elephants can be a game changer if they're not used properly. If they are used properly, I should say. And now I'm able to use my cavalry and go straight for their missile troops as they're in their rear. I haven't even used my own elephants yet, so pretty happy with that. Bring my missile troops forward as well to continue peppering the enemy with missiles. And now we're starting to rug all the units. Once one goes, another one goes. Starting a chain reaction. They've only got four units left on the battlefield. We do have some companion cavalry in the distance, but they're starting to waver as well. And now it's got to the point where we take over, and there we are. That is the end of this battle, and we've done it. We've taken Raffia, we've won the Battle of Raffia in this historical battle. I do hope you've all enjoyed this video, and I shall leave it all there. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe. I've been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye.